What's up, everybody? My SOSers, my soldiers of shred. What's going on? Today, I'm going to hook you up with some easy diminished seventh ideas and show you how simple it is to incorporate this chord into your music. And at least have fun practicing it because it is a fun chord when it's simple and easy to understand. Let's get right to it. The whole entire chord is wrapped up in one sentence. The diminished seventh chord is a repeating minor third interval. Done. Let's go home. That's all there is to the chord. All the notes of the chord are repetitive minor third intervals. If you don't know already, a minor third interval is simply three frets on the guitar. So all the notes repeat back to wherever you started if you begin and walk every three frets. Let's take a quick and simple look at the easiest chord there is in diminished land, the B diminished seven. The B diminished seven chord does have one note that is not in the key, it is the A flat. The notes go B, the F, A flat. All those notes are three frets apart and they repeat. Let's show you. B to D, two to five, D to F, right, five, eight, F to A flat, and then A flat back to B. All the notes are three frets apart. It doesn't matter where you find them on the guitar or how you find them. If you find one of the four, you will get all of the four. Let's show you some simple, easy ways to use and find this chord. A diagonal, a very popular diagonal version of this chord used in metal nonstop constantly is this. F the A flat, diagonal to the B and the D, diagonal to the F and the A flat again, diagonal to the B and the D. However, when we get to this G string, we need to walk a whole step over on the B because we lose a half step on the B string because there's no B sharp. So instead of walking to here, we're going to walk to the F that's here, putting us on F and A flat like that. And then it repeats again to B and D. So again, if you notice, everything is three frets, and it just repeats. Now let's show you a two-string version of this chord, where we will see three of the four notes. So I'll give you a little volume. Three of the four notes. In this case, it's the F, it's the A-flat, and the D. We move it over three frets, and you get three of the four notes again. Again, three. Now what I'm doing here is I'm taking the G sharp and I'm pulling it to the A because they're a half step apart. And like the harmonic minor scale, we wind up on the G sharp, which resolves to the A. So when you're using this to be diminished chord, it is common to stop on the G sharp and resolve it to the A. It is common to see the diminished chord used with harmonic minor scales for that same reason, because they both use the G sharp to resolve to the A. So it's common in this key and all keys to see the diminished seventh chord used with its harmonic minor scale of the same key. Now let's look at a three finger version, a three, I'm sorry, let's look at a three string, four note version of this chord. Here we're going to see all four notes. There's the B we were missing before. I use the first finger note to slide over three fets or repeat this pattern again. I repeat it three frets over, and I do it again. Once I'm on this pattern, I slide it over again. And one more time. Now we are back to that G sharp again, to the A. And guys, that is the diminished seventh chord. It is just simply repeating all the notes of the chord a minor third interval apart till they repeat again moving everything three frets until it all repeats again. You can begin this from any one of the four notes of the chord, and you will get back to all four notes of the chord every time. I hope this makes understanding the diminished seventh chord a lot easier, and hopefully removes some of the confusion you may have had. Guys, leave me a comment if this has helped you. I'm doing my best to keep things simple, because that makes it the most fun, and there's no added stuff we don't need. That is the diminished quarter wrapped up. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.